And if every sight line lands on a star, then the entire night sky should be as bright as the surface of the sun. Whoa. It should be a blaze in light. Okay. For this reason that I told you. Yes, because e even though you're moving them farther away, they cancel out in, in the inverse ratio. In the inverse ratio, so, correct. Inverse so square bang. ratio. Right. So inverse square ratio. Okay. And so, boom, it's still just as bright. So now it doesn't matter. Bada bing. So, yeah. so, the surface brightness. And you're talking right. about where you land on the sky, right? right? right. The sight. So, if you have an infinite universe and stars are everywhere, you'd ev your sight line would eventually hit the surface of a star. Right. And the surface of a star would then be just as bright. I mean, within the variations of stars, you know, right. that would be exactly. just as bright as the surface of the sun. And, and so, so, the, there so, that was, it was a paradox. No, and the night sky there should be no darkness. Correct. And so the night sky is not completely dark. So the paradox is, if we live in an infinite universe, the night sky should be a blaze of light, and it's not. So therefore, we must not live in an infinite universe.